So now in this video, first we're going to look at protecting one LED from a 5 volts right there with a 220 ohm resistor. It's actually about 13.6 milliamps of current. This power supply is not as accurate as a multimeter would be measuring current. So I'm going to remove the resistor up two spots right here so we can connect a couple of other LEDs in series right there. So now we will have three series LEDs. Instead of needing two volts just to light the LEDs and then three volts across the resistor, now we need about six volts just to light the LEDs. We don't have enough voltage. So um, to power this circuit to get what we want, we're going to need nine volts right there. We should have exactly the same current. Again, this isn't as accurate as a multimeter. It's probably closer to 13.6 volts right there. But uh, that's the thing. If you have a higher voltage, uh, you can just add more LEDs in series so they drop more voltage. So now we are protecting an LED from 5 volts with a 220 ohm resistor giving us about 13.6 milliamps of current. This is not as accurate as a multimeter would be. And uh, so it's 220 ohm resistor. We're going to add another 220 ohm resistor in series with that one. So, so far we haven't because it's not connected to anything up there. But when we attach uh, this resistor and I uh, get that to the right spot uh, right there. Now we have uh, twice the resistance. LED is not uh, very bright as you can see right there. Um, you know, still kind of okay. But uh, in any case, there you can see it's uh, down to about half right there, which we expect. Um, and because uh, we got twice the resistance now there's three volts across the resistor two volts across the LED when there was uh, just one resistor now that we added a second one we're gonna need three more volts right there to get the same amount of current that we had before and the LED is fairly bright there 